हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन डीले कैलकुलेशन एंड एज वेल एज इट सिमुलेशन इन किल सॉफ्टवेयर सो टुडे वील सी वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डीले जनरेशन इन ए जीरो फाइव वन असेंबली एंड देन इमीजिएटली वील गो फॉर द किल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड हाउ टू चेक दैट डीले ऑन लॉजिक एनालाइजर नाउ आई वील फर्स्ट राइट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट हियर so here uh, we are going to generate a delay of say 10 milliseconds so we are interested in generating a delay of 10 milliseconds okay. so first we will go for the calculations and we will decide the count values for 10 millisecond delay in assembly so in my last video i have already explained these steps in detail but once again i will explain uh, in this video also so the first step is whatever is your required delay that is 10 milliseconds you divide it by 1.085 microsecond so because this is a time period of one machine cycle so when you calculate this this will give me 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 1.085 into 10 raised to minus 6 so which is equal to 9216.58 in our second step we divide this count by 2 so 9216.58 divided by 2 is equal to 4608.29 so this is what is the count value which is to be loaded into the register but we know that all our registers are 8 bit and the maximum count that we can load in this registers is 255 here we have calculated the count which is 4608 which is greater than 255 and therefore the single loop uh, will not do our job but now we have to use the nested loop concepts for generating a delay of 10 milliseconds so the first value should lo loaded should be the 255 and then you divide this 4608 by 255 so when we divide this we will get the count equal to 18.07 so <clears throat> in this we require two loops uh, therefore we are using two registers my outer register is loaded with the count value 18 and the inner register is loaded with the count value 255 so by using these counts we can write a delay routine for 10 milliseconds so now here i will write a simple program uh, and then we'll go for the kill demonstration of the same here we are toggling port pin 1.1 so we will start writing the program so first statement is org 0000h then we will set the port pin so set b 1.1 and after that i will call a delay routine so a call delay i am writing a separate routine for a delay because i am going to call my delay two times then i will clear port pin 1.1 and again i will call this delay and i want this action repeatedly so i will use the instruction as jump and again and that control will go to this second line so your port pin will set and after some delay it will be reset again after some delay it will be set that means you can check the continuous toggling on port pin 1.1 which we are going to observe in kill software simulation on logic analyzer 2 okay now we'll write a delay routine so now i am going to write my delay routine so delay here i am using two registers so move r1 comma hash 18 this is outer loop and move r2 comma hash 255 now first use the instruction djnz r2 and here so which will 
complete this inner loop and that here or control of this here will go to on, on same instruction and then we are going to write the djnz for outer loop so now djnz r1 comma up and this up control will go over here finally you have to write return and end so here if you can see these two instructions this is a inner my inner loop so move r2 comma hash 255 here 255 count will be loaded into the r2 and djnz instruction will be executed 255 times that is inner loop and outer loop that is this uh, which uh, for outer loop the count value is 18 so this 1 2 and 3 these all three three instructions will be executed 18 times okay so this is what is a simple program for the uh, delay generation in my last program i have already explained how to calculate the delay size so for more details you can refer my last video i will provide the link of that video in the description box now we'll go for the kill simulation of the same program so for that i will open the kill software so this is a program i have already written so you can check the program this is a program for delay of 10 milliseconds so org we are setting port pin 1.1 we are calling a delay again we are clearing port pin 1.1 again we are calling a delay and i want this action continuously and this is what is the loop uh, delay uh, function that i have written okay so whenever we uh, there is an instruction a called delay the control will go to the delay routine delay will be executed that is of 10 milliseconds and again it will go to the next instruction so likewise this program will execute now here our main task is how to measure this delay whatever we have calculated using logic analysis so whenever you write any program you have to first build the program and check for any errors here you can see there is zero error zero warning so now your program is compiled successfully now you go to this debug click on start stop debug session click on ok and this is what is the debug mode now in debug mode we have a tool called as a logic analyzer so here you can see this is the analysis window and in analysis window you have a logic analyzer if you cannot find that window here then you can also go from here also in view in view you have analysis window so from here also you can uh, get that logic analyzer window now along with this logic analyzer window we'll also check the port pin so i will take this here on the side logic analyzer and also we'll go for checking the toggling of that port so i will also take port 1 so in peripheral in io port you have a port 1 so when we run this program then you will observe that this port pin 1.1 will toggle continuously and the required delay is generated on logic analyzer but before this there are some settings that you have to do on the logic analyzer so let us see it carefully when you open this logic analyzer window you click on setup whatever are your previous settings first you kill click on kill all to reset all the settings and click on yes then here there is an icon for new or insert <clears throat> so click on this in our program we are using port 1 so just write there port 1 and select this port 1 so here you can also go for a different color the which color waveform you want you can set it from here i am not changing the color so any other setting is uh, not required and just close this window so now your logic analyzer is ready to use and now simply uh, click on the run button so when you run you will find the waveform now see here on port 1 if you can observe the port pin 1.1 is toggling continuously and the square wave is generated but here you are unable to see the waveform correctly so you click on this auto so when you click on auto it will automatically uh, change the setting and it will show you the proper output now you stop this waveform 
and you measure the delay. Now for measuring delay, you have to make the cursor on. So select this cursor box as well as you click on this signal info box. Okay. Now here we are measuring this on time. So I will just adjust this and will put a cursor on this starting and the ending position of my on period. So this is you try to match the exact position then only you can get the exact delay value. So this is the first position and here is the second. Now if you can see here in this box the delay is nothing but the value which is written under your delta that is 10.00326 milliseconds. So that is what is the uh, exact delay generated whatever we have calculated. So by using this method you can uh, calculate and generate any time or any time delay in microseconds, in milliseconds or in seconds also. So this is the simplest way to measure the delay in kill simulation and using logic analyzer. One more important thing here that you need to set before uh, debugging is you have to check for the crystal frequency. So I will show you that also. For checking the crystal frequency, you have to right click on target 1, go on option for target 1. So here if you can see, here is a crystal frequency. So by default, that frequency is 24 megahertz, but you need to change it to 11.0592 because we are using a crystal of same value mm -hmm. for 8051 microcontroller. So this setting is very very important. If you forget to do this setting, your delay calculation go wrong. That means in logic analyzer, you won't get the proper delay. So whenever you find that delay is not getting generated correctly, then first thing that you have to check is this crystal frequency. This is very, very important for uh, generating or monitoring the delay in on, on logic analyzer. Okay? So this is another important thing. Here I have already changed it. So now again no need to change so with this we have checked the output of our logic algorithm so you can check it once again okay so just open the logic analyzer window and run this program so this is the output simply stop this and check the output so if you can see exact delay of 10.00 will be generated as you adjust the cursor position, the delay will change slightly. So this is what all about measurement of delay. So if you have uh, liked my video, then please share the video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.